so hello guys, welcome back to a new video, today in this video I am going to show you how you can install Android X86 OS in your PCs with dual boot. I will show you a complete tutorial as you guys already can see that I am playing this game very smoothly, so guys let's head to the next chapter. First of all let me show you my PC specification. As you can see I have a PC with only 2GB of RAM, a small i5 processor, and now let me show you my graphics card. I have an Intel HD graphics card with 64MB of memory. So now let's move to the next chapter. To install Android OS, you'll need these four things. Android OS ISO Rufus software USB pen drive Separate disk space First of all open any browser and search Android OS X86. Now click on first website. Now click on download button. Click on FOSS Hub. Now select according to your PC architect. I am using 32-bit OS stats, why I will go with the 32-bit one, if you don't know how to check it you can watch chapter 2 again. I have already downloaded, now let's download Rufus software quickly. If you are using Windows 7 then Rufus may not work, you have to download Rufus version 3.22. First of all, insert a USB pen drive into your PC. Make sure there's no important data on the pen drive. Run the Rufus software. If you encounter a specific error like this, download Rufus version 3.22 and run that instead. With Rufus 3.22 running, you'll see an interface like this. Click on the Select button and choose the Android X86 ISO file. Click the Start button, choose the recommended option and click OK. This process will take around 5 minutes or less. I'll pause here in the instructions. Once this process is complete, you'll need to restart your PC. Now I will record the video externally. Alright, once your PC has restarted, you'll need to press the boot key multiple times. In my case, with a Dell laptop, the boot key is typically F12. Your boot key must be different if you are using a different laptop. Once you've pressed the boot key, you'll be presented with a menu. From this menu, select the option related to USB storage device. Now, in front of you, there are three options. The first option means you can test this Android X86 OS on your PC without installing it. But if you don't want to test, you can select the third option. The third option means Android OS will directly install in your partitions. This is a crucial step. Make sure not to accidentally select the wrong partition, 
as it will erase all the data on that partition. Only choose the partition that you designated for Android OS. I had named the partition for Android OS, so I will install it in that specific partition. Click on Yes. Click on Yes. Click on Yes. Here, it is asking you to choose the space for Android OS installation. Since I have limited space on my hard drive, I'll select only 2GB. However, if you're installing on a 32GB partition, you can create up to 20GB of space. But remember, the more space you allocate, the longer installation time it will take. Now, select the Android x86 option and click OK. Look at this, our Android has started. Let's proceed to set it up just like a regular phone. Now I will show you how you can start Windows. Make a right click and select Power Menu. Click on Restart. As you guys can see my PC is working in dual boot now select Android if you want to start Android. And if you want to start Windows just select Windows. As you guys can see my Windows is working fine.